Today, Kevin and I are going to be eating a box of chocolate. <laughs> half uh, this is from, what well, you mean half a box? We're going to cut them in half. So. Oh, we're going to cut them, yeah, that's <laughs> true. But, we'll, but between the two of us, I figure we'll go through a whole box. Uh, this is the C's candies. Uh, it, we have reviewed so, so many uh, C's candies, and we review, have actually reviewed most of these. But Sarah sent us these from California, so thank you so much to Sarah. You go in, they have a big candy counter. It smells wonderful in there. It's bright and clean. They're, everything's white. Yes, they're they're very, very friendly. You always get a sample when you walk in, whether you buy anything or not. Mm -hmm. They will give you a free sample. And um, you choose what you want. So this is one of those boxes. You can buy pre-made pre boxes, yeah. of course. Or you can make your own. Or you can make your own. So this is one that Sarah made for us. When you open up, this was actually gift wrapped. Mm -hmm. I That's unwrapped right it. Table. Yeah, I unwrapped it because I wanted to take pictures before we started the video. Uh, they also have a sheet for allergen information and this little piece of bubble wrap in the top. I actually took each one of these pieces out individually and took pictures of them. And the reason I did that is because some of these I was looking for online, they for the most part have some really, really good pictures on their website. Some of these though were non-existent on the website. It's one of those things too where some of these were seasonal flavors. And once the season has passed, once Christmas has passed, they just take them off the website and you can't find them anymore. So I wish they would keep them in there. Keep a log of everything. Just say out of stock out of or stock. seasonal or seasonal. whatever. Seasonal, yeah, not available. I've been to websites before that have said, not available at this time, seasonal, yeah. But some places actually remove it from the website. So I took pictures uh, as well. So this one is, uh, they give you a cheat sheet when you go in and pick your own and they'll uh, put a number next to it of how many you order. And so this one Sarah had uh, written not on the sheet. It is a dark salted caramel. So the description is buttery, brown sugar, caramel, and rich dark chocolate sprinkled with sea salt. It's a nice caramel. It's a, it's a very thick caramel. Mm -hmm. And good salt. It's got tons of salt on it too. Mm -hmm. as, you're, as you're eating it, you're biting down and you feel these little crystals of salt just crunch between your teeth. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Um, it's very thick though. <laughs> absolutely love it. Oh, I love it. Um, you, and it's dark chocolate? Yes. Yeah, you really don't It doesn't. Once we get to the milk, you can tell the difference between yeah. the milk and the dark, but it doesn't come across yeah. as... It's not a bitter dark caramel. It's not bitter at all. And that caramel is so very, very sweet mm -hmm. that, um, yeah, you, you just... It, the dark chocolate doesn't bother you at all. It yeah. really, that caramel, they can cover that in just about anything and it's going to elevate the sweetness mm -hmm. level. I like the thickness of it. It did not get stuck in my teeth at all. A little bit. Not, I mean, not bad. No more than, it's much better than some caramels. Okay, I think this is going to be a peanut patty. Okay. That's what that looks like. A peanut butter, milk peanut butter patty. Oh. It is 90 calories for the whole thing. And there were two in here. And it says smooth, creamy peanut butter. And it's in milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter is good. It reminds you of a, mm -hmm. of a more peanutty peanut butter, mm -hmm. but it's very nice. I thought you were going to say, so I was agreeing before you said it. <laughs> it does remind me of a Reese's. And a I think bit, yeah. the reason it reminds me of a Reese's is because it um, it has the salt too. Mm -hmm. It has a terrific, terrific peanut butter flavor, and well, the whole inside is just filled with peanut butter. Yes. Now, you might recall a couple weeks ago we reviewed. We had bought a big peanut butter patty mm -hmm. from 
their store in because the, they had a pop-up shop in the mall at Christmas. I'm sure a lot of malls have the pop-up shops at Christmas. Um, it did not taste as much like a Reese's as that one does. I really think probably because it's a little less peanut butter in this one. Yeah, I think so too. Sugar. I think because it was so thick, they really did an excellent job yeah, with it's that. Good. It's a good peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do that Rocky Road. This is one. I think that's all in there. But. Yeah, you want to hold it up just a little bit. This is one that they did not have a good picture of it um, online. I had to use this one. It looks like a boulder. Um, they have one right now. I want to say I'm thinking it is this one. The it's it's like a football shape, like right. Oh, okay. It's a it's a football shape. It's still Rocky Road, but I didn't use their picture because I had to use like a picture off this page because uh, it was shaped like a football and they describe it. It's like a Rocky Road football. I'm thinking that's the one. Um, this is 130 calories. It is bigger. It, it is, is big. milk chocolate, honey, marshmallow, and English walnuts. There went a walnut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. It's got a chew to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. I I like Rocky it's good. Road. It's got a big I've, hunk of chocolate in there too. I've made Rocky Road before. I've never been a huge fan of Rocky Road. It's okay. Because well, there's nothing wrong with it, but given the choice between just a rich chocolate and something with a lot of marshmallows i'm gonna go for the more chocolate mm -hmm. um just like a like a russell stover's marshmallow thing you know exactly it's full of marshmallow right i'm gonna go for more of the cream candy than the marshmallow candy right. but i still like it but the marshmallow it it doesn't have the the intense sweetness it's sweet but not intensely sweet I like that. That, that good. marshmallow does have some chew to it. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what it says it is. And the mm -hmm. chocolate is really thick chunks of chocolate in there. So mm -hmm. it, it, you really taste the chocolate too. So it's good. Um, the next one is, let's say, it's hard to tell what some of these are. We have a uh, milk butterscotch square and we have a milk peanut nougat. Hmm. Say, I'd say that's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I'm going to guess this is the nougat. Okay, that's what I would have think, thought too. So let's see what it looks like. You think that's the nougat? Yes, that's the nougat. Milk peanut nougat is 120 calories. It is brown sugar nougat with roasted peanuts. With peanuts, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty thick layer of chocolate mm -hmm. in there too. Has some salt and peanut really comes mm. through. Does that remind you of a Snickers? A little bit. I was gonna, I'm saying mm -hmm. it really tastes like a candy bar. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a Snickers. Well, I mean, it reminds you of a Snickers. It reminds me of a Snickers because it, it doesn't have that caramel kind no. of flavor a Snickers does. And I don't think the chocolate's quite as strong flavor. I don't either. That's why I'm like, it reminds me of one, but it doesn't taste like one. No, but it does remind you, especially when you're eating it, the texture really reminds you of a Snickers. Mm hmm I think the chocolate on a Snickers bar is a little bit stronger. Yeah, I am. Okay. Not that the chocolate's not wonderful here, it's just, it's not quite as strong. Now there's two of these. This is a milk pecan bud. So we got two of these in the box. All right, this is literally just pecan and chocolate. Like. It is 100 calories. It says vanilla, caramel, and crunchy pecans. Um, I guess there's some caramel in there, maybe. It has to have something. Uh, to hold it together, I can see it. Yeah, you can see that caramel yeah. right there. So this would be kind of like a turtle. Mm hmm. That they can't call it a turtle. Because <laughs> that's a brand. <laughs> That's like over the top sweet. My favorite thing about that is the crunch. Mm-hmm. They've used just enough caramel 
to hold it together. Whereas most turtles, mm -hmm. um, it's got like an abundance of caramel. Yes. This one is mostly pecans, honestly, pecans and chocolate. Mm -hmm. With the caramel just there to hold the pecans together. I, um, I, I love it though. That's it's very good. Uh, that's my favorite one so far. It's a lot sweeter than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the chocolate is outstanding. The mm -hmm. milk chocolate is, is absolutely phenomenal. Very good. Okay, now this one should be the milk butterscotch square. These are the ones that we got Actually, for, okay. So we got- We've had these before. We've had these many times before. Um, we have bought these over and over again when we went on vacation and went to the seas location in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, bought these over and over again. That's them. Our daughter loves them. We bought her a bag at the pop-up shop for her stocking stuffers. It is like this. I love the texture. The mm -hmm. texture is like the best part. I didn't describe it. <laughs> Good. Farm brown sugar and vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. That's literally what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's chocolate, which is pretty thick, but then the inside, it looks like caramel, but when you start eating it, it's like a um, sugary texture, gritty kind of texture, sugar, brown sugar texture. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Um, if you like that brown sugar flavor, you'll love those. They're awesome. That's thick. Um, I absolutely love it. it. Yes, it is a gritty brown sugar texture. That is probably the sweetest one we've had. Yeah, oh yeah. That is like if you had like a, what are those, the red things that go up when you're raising <laughs> money? Yeah. One of those. Th thermometer. A thermom yeah, a thermometer basically. It's going to go off the thermometer because it's that sweet. It's so sweet it almost hurts. Um, and yet. It's like you're eating real brown sugar. I like can eat about full. three of those. Okay, this is the pecan roll. It's 140 calories for the pecan roll. Farm brown sugar center with vanilla, caramel, and pecans. That may have the same center as that brown sugar thing we just ate, the butterscotch. I don't think it does. But you can't tell because there's so many pecans. Well. But it has a similar flavor to that brown sugar farm. But the one in the butter, the one that we just had has a clear center. It's a. So? Well, no, it's no, not, it, it's not clear. I don't want to say that. It's not clear. It's more like it's, um, it's cooked longer. And so you can see, it looks like brown sugar and butter when it's melted. That it's is like a, a different nougat. color. Yeah. I ate mine, so I can't tell. <laughs> it doesn't exactly taste like it. It definitely doesn't have the texture of boot. It's good. I, I like it. Um, I'm thinking about like a pecan roll. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty good. I like the I like the center of that one much better than some pecan rolls we've had. I just got a really good flavor of that uh, brown sugar. Did you? Mm -hmm. is there, does it remind you of the? It reminds me of it, but I don't. It's just it's not I, exactly the same. No, the milk butterscotch square is 100 calories. The pecan roll is 140. I'm assuming because of the pecans. Hmm. Um, I wrote on here, no good picture online. Yeah. So I took a picture, I think from this sheet, and then I took one of what we got uh, because they did not have a good picture online. Um, and you know what? It could have been that one that shaped like a football. One of these is shaped like a football. Um, I do like the pecan roll, but I would 10 times rather have the butterscotch square. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you like pecans, that's the one to get. But yes, the pecans are really nice, and yeah. I do love that the um, that texture of getting to crunch through those mm -hmm. pecans. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of pecans in it. Too. Yeah, it's not hard. None of these have stuck in my teeth either. Um, I've had a few of the pieces to suck my teeth, but not bad. Okay, let's try this. Cause not I, like a really thick homely. Because I know what this is, and we have two of them. This is the cashew. Where is it? Oh, right here. Cashew brittle. This is another one that we got for Ashley for her stocking. We got her the two of them. The uh, butterscotch and then these. Cashew brittle is brittle and cashews with white chocolate. It's 130 calories. And yeah, I she can, didn't even know that she liked these until she just tried one. Yeah, it was we, like a sample or something. Yeah, we were on vacation, and uh, we ended up taking a bunch of these back to the room. <laughs> it's mostly toffee flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm 
You know, there is a little bit of cashew there, but for sure. You know what? I taste it. The toffee. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The cashew is definitely there. The toffee, when you first bite into it, is what you taste first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then, it does kind of settle into a mm -hmm. cashew, but kind of cashew flavor. Mm -hmm. Then you get the cashew. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Now that sticks in your teeth. Mm -hmm. But it's a brittle, so it's um, there's it's a little like crispy. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, it's very very crunchy. Crunchy, yeah, and but it does stick in your teeth a little mm -hmm. bit. But you know what? For me, that's okay because. I can enjoy it longer. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like if you chew a mint and then you have that left. That um, that sweetness level is right up there with that uh, butterscotch. Very sweet. It is very, very, very sweet. I love that it's big pieces. Um, if you had to choose between the cashew brittle and the butterscotch. I would eat the butterscotch. But you can't eat many of them. They're so rich and sweet. I would choose the cashew bro. Would you? I, I, it's very, very, very sweet. You know what though? I, I could not eat a lot of No, those. you can't eat a lot of any of these. Mm -mm. I mean, you, you're eating well, like us and it's, it's right, even right now, it's like this is getting to be almost sugar overload. Those two specifically super though sweet. are super, super, super sweet. And so, rich. Very yes, rich so you can't eat a lot of them, but um, if you are ordering, you can order from C's. I think from just about anywhere you can order online and they'll ship it to you. Um, I highly recommend those two mm -hmm. flavors. Yeah. And the brittle, the good thing about the brittle too, it's not that glassy shard-like brittle. It's more of a toffee brittle. So it's really nice to eat. Okay, we have three pieces left. I do not want, I know, I don't want to get that one. And then that one. And that, okay, so we have white mint. I don't want the white mint. Mm, I don't know. I know. Watch us. We'll get it. Uh, we have a apple pie, and it looks like square kind of. it looks kind of square. That might be it. But then again, that could be the mint too. We'll find out, and then I'll give you the description. It's mint. It's mint. Ah, okay. That was smart of you. Are you gonna wipe that knife off? Yeah. That was smart of him to smell it. <laughs> it smells like mint. Let's put it that way. Okay. Let me just try this round one. I wonder if that's eggnog. Eggnog. Okay. That's fine. You can smell the eggnog. <laughs> oh, okay. Eggnog truffle, 100 calories. Classic eggnog flavor with hints of nutmeg and vanilla. Hmm. I like that one. Mm. At first, you just get that creamy, eggnoggy kind of flavor, then the spices start popping. That's perfect, isn't it? It's very thick. Mm -hmm. It's a thick cream, which is what you want with an eggnog. Um, that tastes just like I've had a glass of really good eggnog. You could probably eat a couple of those for fewer calories than you could drink. <laughs> That's that old shot glass of eggnog. Mm -hmm. Because eggnog is so full of calories. That is absolutely yeah. a perfect replication of eggnog in a food. Yeah, Instead the, of drinking I, it, that's probably the best eggnog That's flavored perfect. item I've ever had. I see Christmas is over now, so they're they're not gonna have that. Or I assume they're not gonna have the eggnog. Next time Christmas comes, if you don't have eggnog where you're at, I don't know where all they ship. It would be totally worth it for you to get that if you don't have eggnog, mm -hmm. because that is that is That's what, what it the, tastes like. Exactly like yep. what it tastes like. That's what the good stuff tastes mm -hmm. like. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. It says there was a Tipperary bonbon in here. We didn't get one of those. Okay, so we were no. not we're not gonna do that because we didn't get that one. Maybe they marked it and then they, they ended up not having it or something. Okay, uh -huh. uh, so this should be apple pie. And I, we've had their apple pie before, but I don't remember. Definitely apple pie. You get the cinnamon. It tastes more like applesauce. Mm hmm. Um, a lot like applesauce. It's 100 calories. Creamy center with Granny Smith apples and cinnamon. Believe it or not, absolutely love, 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 love apples. I don't know that I like that one. I was going to say, I do not care for that one. No. I don't care for it. 
it's like a chunky applesaucey kind of texture in a candy with, mm -hmm. with the chocolate. The chocolate's the only thing that saves it, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know what we said before, and honestly, it doesn't matter what we said before because all that matters is what we feel like now. <laughs> so um, taste and change, too. Taste change. Well, and they might have retweaked their formula. Yeah, you and you know. don't know. You don't know that they're not adding a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that to make it different than what we had a year or two or however long ago. Um, I, I, mean, I do not care for that. I could at all. eat it. I could eat them if, if you were to give me I more. Wouldn't. But I don't like that acidic kind of like acid. As acidic flavor of that. I would turn it down. If somebody offered me a bag of free, well, I'd take it and give it to somebody else. No. But I, I would not eat that again. I just do not like no. that. Yeah, it's not like it. it's horrible or anything like that. Right, it's, it's not one that, you want to spit out of your mouth or anything. But it's not worth wasting my calories on. Right. So that yeah, I'm not going to eat that. Okay. So the last one. I'm an apple one, lover, like I said. Mm -hmm. The last one is the white mint truffle. Uh, I think two of these pictures, of course, one of those could have been that temporary. Um, uh, this one, I stole their picture off of Facebook. Hmm. They didn't have a picture on their website, so I had to steal it off Facebook where they po had posted it for Christmas. And of course, you don't delete those. You delete the ones off the website. You don't delete off Facebook. Or you can, but usually you don't. So, it says this one is also available in the summer, mm. uh, the white mint truffle, and it's 100 calories. It's creamy white chocolate with peppermint. You can smell the peppermint. You gotta love the texture of that cream. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so good. It would be nice just to let it sit in your mouth. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a nice peppermint. It's like a candy cane, almost a candy cane like peppermint. But it's just so smooth and creamy. My camera cut off. <laughs> this camera cuts off after like 20, 22. 22. Or 23. Yeah, so, uh, so if the camera cut off and we were just here jibber jabbering and we didn't even realize it um that white uh that white mint is absolutely wonderful yeah, it's, it's terrific um i would totally get that again the eggnog um, was really good the, uh, yes it, it, i would actually probably out of all of them i'd probably get the eggnog the mint and the butterscotch would be my three picks that I would get really i would That's, get any of those okay so we're picking our top three i don't know Okay. That's just once I thought of that, I if really you like. got to pick your top three, then I get to pick my top three. My top three is going to be the uh, cashew brittle out of these that we tried: cashew brittle, milk butterscotch square, and probably the eggnog. Probably the eggnog. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But, but they're all good. They're all good. Uh, the only one I wouldn't get again is that apple, and it's a very you know it's just we just didn't yep. uh, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't get that, but they have so much. And if you go in there, um, and and if you weren't sure about something, I bet you they would give you a sample. I bet you they would. They're very very nice in there. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, the good thing about the cashew brittle and the, the I'm chicken. thinking Ashley, when she went in the store, she wasn't sure of some flavors and asked for a sample and they gave them to her. I'm, all, I'm yeah. almost positive that they gave her a sample of whatever. They're very had. nice in there. Yeah. Um, I mean, you couldn't eat there, eat one of everything, you know, no, <laughs> but no. you could get a few samples. Right. Um, but the good thing about the cashew brittle and, and the milk butterscotch is you could buy a whole bag of those. Mm -hmm. Well, you could get a whole box of any of these because they're going to package them for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but now but those already come packaged in a bag. Right. Uh, they have spring flavors. That's the next, like, uh, besides what they have right now. So spring will be next. And it says for spring they have a dark peanut brittle a dark mint scotch mallow and a tropical tango I, we have probably reviewed all of those if you search the channel the only thing is is that i can't put there's too many names to put in the title so i can't put all the names in the title so basically usually i'm just saying 
trying these C's candies because you, you just can't fit them all in the title. Um, but thank you very, very much to Sarah. This was wonderful of you. Uh, she actually sent us a couple more things from C's that we're going to be uh, doing a review of that too. I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.